the ratio of copper zinc and nickel same students please try to solve it but differently how many kilograms of zinc should be added to this metal of 54 kg so that the new ratio becomes 2 is to 5 is to 1 okay now present the copper zinc and nickel are in what ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 how many kilograms of zinc should be added to this metal of 54 kg that means now the present metal is what 54 kg right now the present metal is what 54 kg so that the new ratio becomes what 2 is to 5 is to 1 that is the new ratio now first of all in this 54 kg very simple students only one thing will vary right before and after what it is zinc proportion but what about the copper and nickel what about the copper and nickel students both copper and nickel are unchanged here that will be unchanged here so after that later it should become what zinc and nickel should become 2 is to 5 is to 1 it should become like this so first of all find out what is the copper portion in this one what is the copper portion here copper in both the cases why because copper is unchanged anyway copper is according to this according to this copper will become what 4 by total how many parts 9 parts into 54 9 once 9 6 so 4 6 are 24 kgs in this 54 kgs 24 kgs will be copper the same 24 kgs there will, will be there here right will there be any difference here no sir the same 24 kgs so that means what here in the second case two parts is equal to what 24 two parts is equal to what 24 and they are asking us about what zinc zinc is present in the middle so five parts will become what two parts is 24 means into 12 so 5 into 12 it will become what 60 that means present zinc portion is 60 earlier in this one zinc 3 parts means what 3 by 9 into 54 9 once 9 6 so earlier it was 18 kg of zinc now this 18 kg became 60 kg of zinc so now tell me what quantity of zinc was added here here we have added 42 kg of zinc 